Hi and welcome to GearWire.com. We're taking a look at the Boss MT2 Metal Zone pedal. Let's take a look in the box. All right. Of course, we get the product registration. Mail this in for warranty. Product lineup. This catalog is from 2004. Safety instructions, as well as maintenance. And course the all-important instruction book booklet. This one's a fold out. So we got uh, various setups or just the setup that you can use. Um, specifications, explanation of controls, a few different settings that you might like to try and also instructions on how to replace the battery. Let's take a look at the pedal. All right, pretty simple. One input, one output, and just like with every Boss pedal, right underneath the toggle, we got a Roland battery already in there. So it's ready to go. Of course, you always have the option of using the PSA adapter sold separately. That would be plugged in here. So that's the Boss MT2 Metal Zone out of the box. All right, we have the Metal Zone all hooked up, ready to go. I got the Jackson DKMG guitar plugged into a Marshall JCM 2000 half stack. Let's see what kind of sound we got without any effect. <laughs> All right, let's turn the effect on. So as you can see, this is a pretty high gain pedal. We just have the distortion uh, up to midnight or straight up, uh, and it's already tons of compression, tons of sustain and uh, haven't even played with any of the knobs yet. Uh, we got a level knob here to you know, give you some more gain if you need to, or cut some out if you need to, because this pedal can add a lot of gain depending on the tonal settings you're using. The two tonal controls we have in here are low and high, controlled over here, that's the volume, and the mid. Um, here we have the, uh, on the outside we have the low control, so. <laughs> We turn that down, I'm just going to cut out all the low end. Kind of sounds like it's coming through a transistor radio. Uh, this pedal has tons of low end. If we turn it up all the way, it's going to be pretty ridiculous. All right, and then the high end, of course, uh, you can get a duller sound like that. And you can get pretty screechy on this pedal. has a lot of high end as well. You can already hear the hiss coming out. That's a little much, I think. So I'm going to back it back off. Uh, and then over here we got the mid control. It not only lets you control the volume, but also the frequency that you're boosting or cutting. Up here we have our boost and our cut. So if we have a really low, where it got a really low frequency, you're going to boost that. Sort of make the sound more tubby. You could also cut it. Add a little low end to that. And then you can also free, uh, sweep the frequency that you're cutting or boosting. Right now we're cutting, so if we were to... So there's a wide variety of tonal possibilities that this knob alone can have. And if we turn up the mid-frequency, of course, there's going to be just a different effect from that sweep. I kind of like it just slightly cut, 
in the low end, some lows, and maybe cut off the highs just a little bit. Let's see what the distortion knob can do. I'm going to turn lower. Really just losing a lot of volume, not losing too much sustain or distortion. If we turn that up. So it's a, it's a lighter distortion, but it's still pretty dirty. And if we're to turn it up all the way, that's where it gets a bit insane. So that's basically the MT2 uh, for you here at GearWire.com.